are you today? Hmm. Now, um, stress is normal. Stress is part of life. In fact, would you imagine a life that has no stress? You stress, what we call you stress is good because it makes you remain focused. Yeah? You know, every day we face different situations. We meet different people. And sometimes we hear news and we get stressed up. Yeah? The pandemic has caused a lot of stress to many people. Some people have lost jobs. Others have lost their loved ones. And so it is important that you actually keep your stress levels at a manageable place, you know. For the simple reason, you cannot do without you stress. But excessive stress is bad for you, is bad for your body, is bad for the people that you are around with. And so today, allow me to talk to us on how you can keep the stress levels low. Because as I said, a life without stress is a boring one. You need you stress, yeah? Now, people seem to be stressed from when they wake up to when they sleep. <laughs> In fact, there are some of you listening to me who have to take sleeping pills for them to sleep. Even children are no longer children. They are stressed up. Have you had people waking up and even the way the face looks, they really look stressed? <laughs> You don't have to live like that. Life is not like that. You've got to manage your stress to a level huh? that is manageable. And by the way, what is stress? Maybe we need to agree for the purposes of this video. We need to agree what is stress. Now, stress is when you have physical strain or physical tension. You have emotional tension or emotional strain. Or you have sometimes, uh, you know, uh, a situation or an event that is placing a demand on you and you can't cope with it. That's when you say you're stressed up. And by the way, some of you are too busy for life. Hmm? Have you heard people saying, hey, I'm so busy, I don't know what to do. And the person you're telling tells you, mm, if you think you're busy... Hey, you had better come to my office. Me, I am just not busy, over busy. Yeah? Life is not like that. You need to enjoy the moment of life. Life is a journey. Enjoy every step of the journey. Enjoy the moment. You know, the, uh, in the world that we are living in, some of us really enjoy any moment. In fact, people are quicker to take a selfie. Hmm. Is to enjoy the moment later. Hey, you need to enjoy. So allow me very quickly to just go through this. And by the way, if you're an organization, you're looking for a motivational speaker on various issues like what I'm talking about today, on work-life balance, and something to you know enlighten you know your staff members in these hard times. I'm here for you. And I'm not expensive. In fact, I have, um, I'm giving some uh, COVID uh, kind of pricing. Eh? Yeah? So, what is it that causes stress? Now that you know what stress is all about. In fact, the first question I need to ask you as you listen to me is, did you have any stress this morning when you woke up? Write a comment. Did you have stress? Yeah? Do you have stress yesterday, last week, last month? I'm trying to tell you stress is normal. It is part of life. Yeah? So what causes stress? You can have stress because of the environmental stressors. The news that you listen to. When you open the TV in the morning, I would advise you to stop listening to news very early in the morning. Because you can easily get stressed in the morning before you do anything. <laughs> The news, yeah? The technological issues, the pandemic that we are, the world is going through today, yeah? People be stressed because of loss of something, economic issues, 
Some of you have lost their jobs. And it is normal to be stressed out, but you, you can't afford to stay there. So environmental stressors. Sometimes we also get stressed because of what we call interpersonal stressors. Now interpersonal stressors are things like conflicts at home. You see, these days, <laughs> it is no longer together apart. You know, for those who are married, you have been together apart. Someone wakes up in the morning, goes to work, comes in the evening. So muna unananga tu have of usiku. But now, you are together together. I think that's the way God intended life to be together together. Yeah. So sometimes you have conflicts at home, conflicts with co-workers and personality. There are some personalities that by themselves are very stressing. There are people, something small, they get so stressed up because that is their personality. Interpersonal stressors. Then you have intrapersonal stressors. Now when you talk about intrapersonal stressors here, you're talking about things like when you're not able to say no. There are people, the way they are wired up, they really say no. My friend, you cannot be manage stress if you are a yes person. You must learn to say no. If you cannot do something, learn to say no. If you can't, if, if someone wants cash you don't have, just say you don't have. You know, don't stress yourself. The other intrapersonal um, stresses are things like if you want to be liked by everyone. You see, there are people who they, they, they get stressed up just because somebody doesn't like them. Ah, my friend, even Jesus Christ <laughs> of Nazareth, they all know him. There are people who didn't like him. So do, you, you, you can stress yourself because you want, you know, you want people to like you. Sometimes you're stressed up because um, of what we'd call um, uh, negative or critical self-talk. There are people who are really negative. Everything they talk about themselves is criticizing them. They, you hear people saying, hey, Corona, unajua, sasa sijui kikuja inakuja wapi. Why are you calling Corona, my friend? Just do what the Ministry of Health has said and confess positive. So sometimes that critical talk Sometimes you have very high expectations of yourself, yeah? Maybe all your, uh, the guys you went to school with have jobs and they are doing well. You feel like you're not doing very well. You get stressed up. Life is not about competition. You are not competing with anyone. You see, these days, because of social media, everybody is competing with everyone, yeah? you find that you put, uh, you know, something on Facebook, on Instagram, <laughs> showing that you are building a house. Hey! And now, the guy that you went to school with, not even building a house, he's even, he has no place to stay in town. Life is not a competition. Did you know, even when a tree has fruits, each fruit ripens at its own time, yeah? So, life is not about competition. You're not competing with anybody. In fact, I would, advi I would advise you to compete with yourself, okay? So, there are those intrapersonal uh, stressors. Some people are also very sensitive to criticism. You criticize them, they are very sensitive, yeah? The other stressor is what we call physiological stressors. Sometimes you are in pain, you're sick, or you have not slept well. You get stressed. And then finally, of course, there are the organizational stressors. But I'm talking about you as an individual, but also there are some organizations, just because of the role demands, the task demands, the pressure, the boss, you can be stressed up yeah so the question is after you have known these stressors how do you know you're stressed you see people are fond of saying hey akin gonna stress ukiwauliza why do you think you have stress Awajui? so the question is then how do you tell you stressed now you can tell you stressed by looking at your physical aspect of it yeah or what we call the physical symptoms some people when they are stressed they have headache others have ba backache some others um have uh, you know they can't concentrate well they don't have energy others gain weight others lose weight so you can tell you you're stressed when you look at the physical symptoms if you happen to you're going to shower <laughs> 
Alafu unarudi after like two hours ndio sema kai nilikuwa niende kuoga you could be suffering from stress physical symptoms then you have uh, behavioral symptoms you are impatient you are critical yeah you, you you are procrastinating you're supposed to be doing something now you do it tomorrow or you when you're going to work you have you are chronically late yeah absent from work or sometimes especially for ladies if you start crying easily it could be showing that you know you could be stressed behavioral symptoms the other symptoms are what we'd call emotional symptoms you are nervous you fearful huh? you, you 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 feel you know irritated hey if you want to know someone who is stressed eh? <laughs> step on their toes my friend <laughs> irritated for nothing you know you can tell your stress so you you are able to tell that but more importantly how do you keep those stress levels low at an individual this is not an organizational aspect from an individual point of view now you can keep your stress levels low number one by learning to say no learn to say no saying no is not a sin if you cannot do something you don't need to stress yourself up just say i'm not able to do that i'm sorry learn to say no even in your place of work if you can't do something don't stress yourself just learn to say well i'm not gonna be able to do that number two do not castrovise eh? there are people even before they leave their homes they are already stressed out because they even anticipate stress rasgia mtu anasema eh mdozi wangu ni mbaya najua before nirudi hapa ile stress nitakuwa nimekula my friend stop ofulizing the day stop catastrophizing the day yeah you can also keep uh, stress at minimum levels by being around positive people yeah look for people who are positive don't be with people who are always negative and you can also check out uh, in my youtube on uh, toxic people don't be around toxic people be around people who are positive people who will encourage you in life yeah there are people who are really negative i don't like negative people and being positive does not mean you're not real yeah so you can bring uh, stress levels by being around positive people the other way you can you know uh, keep stress levels down is by ensuring that you are happy be happy life is short enjoy every moment of your life be happy smile at people yeah so, some of you watching me have never smiled like, you know now with masks eh? <laughs> it's very difficult to tell who is smiling my friend smile at people smile at yourself give yourself a standing ovation when you have done something and you feel you've achieved something hey give yourself hmm? a standing ovation the other way is make time to relax there is nothing wrong relaxing the way i'm relaxing you know there are some personalities who feel guilty when they relax me i have no problem sleeping oh yeah it's part of life take time to relax after you have worked so hard eh g, g nice <laughs> the, the, the young generation say g nice una g nice kiasi you know take time to relax yeah and of course do some exercises you can do exercises at home if you check my youtube channel there's a there's a there's a there's something we did with the people around me what we do when we're bored exercise move out of your house you see now because we are together together take a walk but then some of those walks are very romantic yeah you can rekindle those things <laughs> those things that had died eh? so take a walk it's part of relaxing take a walk yeah then think about what you are thinking about what does that mean sometimes we overthink we always think of the worst case scenario you see i'm of the opinion when you're always thinking of the worst case scenario and the worst happens you suffer twice me me i prefer looking at the best case scenario so that even if the worst happens at least i don't suffer twice are we together 
think about what you're thinking about. Sometimes you're stressed because of the way you think. You're like, oh, now I've seen a job. What is going to happen? What if I don't get food? Nah, why not say, hey, seen a job, and it's a job, Kesho. Hmm? Think about what you're thinking about. Then don't overreact. Some, some of you are uh, overreact on small issues. Someone tells you something and it was just a joke. You don't talk to them for a week. My friend, that's a very bad life. Oh. You'll be so stressed. No. You, you need to learn to forgive people and move on with life. Okay? Learn to forgive, move on with life. Yeah? In other words, enjoy life because it is short. And then finally for today, be the fan that you are looking for. Just ask yourself for a moment. If someone was to, if someone was going through a hard time, would you be one of those people that they will look for because they think their stress will go down, or you are going to fuel the stress? No, there are some of there are some people who fuel the stress. You know, I know Namambia. As kia ni gonna stress. Ina i me vanyika na Namambia. Ata acha tu i ata i osi mingi i o ni kidogo. Be the fun that you're looking for. I hope I've helped you to understand that stress is part of life. And the only thing you can do is manage it. And remember, you stress is good for you. It makes you remain focused. Thank you very much for watching this video. And thank you to my one and only uh, video taker. <laughs> one mooks. Thank you for being there. Uh, remember to like this video. Remember to leave a comment and subscribe and share this video. Help people. People are stressed up. Eh? People are killing their own children because of stress. It is not worth it. Life is not that serious. Pause. Pause and enjoy life. Thank you very much. God bless you. And if you are an organization, you are CEO, call me. I'll make your people happier and they'll be more productive. Ciao. Toodles.